Hello, welcome to the 100 day project. We are on day 74. I am Marnell from Mimi's Keepsakes and uh, thank you for joining me today. Day 74 is Gail Augusta Nelly's faux front envelopes. And um, so an, the, a, an envelope is your base. And then you simply, so you can obviously add things into the envelope. And then this flips open and you'll have room to write here and there or maybe add a photo. And then in here is a small little pocket if you want to say for instance you can pop in definitely a photo or tickets or some, some ephemera in there um, in, when you're writing in your journal. Okay, so let's see how we make this. I have some envelopes, coffee dyed envelopes, colored envelopes, different sizes here that we can use. We obviously won't use all of these, but let's see. Um, I also have papers that I printed on a lightweight cardstock just to give it a little bit of, you know, just for the wear and tear when you open and close here. And I coffee dyed the backs because you are going to open it. If white is okay with you, obviously you do not have to coffee dye the backs, but I did that quickly. So let's do um, this big envelope. We'll do it this way because it will be sitting this way, the flap, and then, yes, let's do it this way. I had to think about the just because there's a design here and how it would sit once I've glued or paper clipped it into a journal. I probably paper clip this or just hinge it over the page of, of a journal. You can use the flap of the envelope as a hinge, or like this one if you just use my notebook. If you glue, flap it over, and I, this is even big enough that I can make this a pocket if I glue it there and there, and this could be a pocket. So you can definitely use it again in way different ways, a lot of different ways. Just, you know, play around. So let's do this one. I think I want the flower the biggest size. So I'm going to cut it a little longer than my envelope because I do want a flap there. So that will be my flap. Let's just fold that over and then it's done. And just straight. Okay, so that is one part. So this is going to go on my envelope like this and then this will be my flap. And these two kind of have to meet there and then you'll have the tab. So I have my whale tail punch. You can definitely, you don't need a whale tail punch. You can do anything else. And let's just, I have a piece of cardstock copy dyed because I, um, the printer printed on the cardstock. So I thought I'll just punch out a couple of whale tail punches anyway to have it on hand or later projects. Let me just do a couple and then we'll go ahead with demonstrating how this faux front envelope is made. So there's your envelope. I'm thinking before I glue it down, I am gonna ink this pink up just a little bit. <clears throat> It's a very new pink. Let's make it look, and I'm just going to do the back as well. Just make it look like it's been around for a couple of years. And so then all we're going to do is you're going to glue down the flap. Just 
just line it up with the bottom of the envelope. Flap is glued down. Do I want just a little bit more glue in here, just that spot there? Okay, and then I am going to put the glue here to make that little pocket on the top and then just line it up we'll cut the excess off oh you know what I forgot I forgot to put the tab on first sorry that you need to do that first put the tab on first you can put the tab on afterwards but it might just be easier to put the tab on first and then we're going to line these two up and just straight and then that tab will keep the flap closed and it's as easy as that and then we're just going to cut the excess off Okay, and then your envelope is ready to be decorated. Yes, and so she saw, Dina saw this on Gail Agustinelli's channel. I'll try to find that, um, that video as well. So let's make another one. I am just taking, you, you definitely can measure, I am just putting my envelope on top of my paper and then I do not have to measure and then when I cut it down I leave extra for the flap and just cut the top off and then just decide how big you want that faux envelope part to be and then this gets the fold for the flap. Okay, and then you need the tab. Uh, you can make tabs. Let's make a tab quickly, a little different. So you can even just take a piece, I would probably say a thicker, like a card, not a thick cardstock, but a cardstock or thicker scrapbook kind of papers and um, let's just make little I'm just taking my oval punch here and just making little notches in here just to decorate my tab a little bit Okay, so you definitely can do that. You do not need a uh, well tail punch for sure. I just want to make that one a little straighter. Or you can even just take two circle punches. You can make the tab in way, a lot of different ways. If you have an envelope punch board, I've seen people make punches with the envelope or tabs with the envelope punch board. So yeah, just play around with it. And the next thing we're going to do is just glue our flap down. And you can glue this flap over the envelope maybe we'll do the one like that you can put just lift your flap up and you can put that flap over on this side too if you feel that's more secure I think this is not totally straight it doesn't look straight so let's just clean it up a little bit there and then you're going to put I put the glue on the envelope then I know exactly where it should be because I want those two to line up I'm going to cut the excess off on the back 
it's just for me that's what works it's just the easiest way for me again find a way that's easy for you and that's your top you can always make different tops and we'll play around with that in a minute but I just wanted to show quickly the process so now let's mass make <coughs> excuse me I am going to cut out I have two well tail tabs. Let's do one. Let's do a couple more. Do that first. Then the well tail the tabs are done. And I'm just using them because I have a bunch and it's fast and easy. Okay, so there's my tabs. I have tabs done. Don't know how many envelopes we'll do. We'll see. Okay. It is a very nice warm day today. It's one, uh, kind of a humid day. And I have to say, it's early in the morning, but I always almost I feel a little sleepy already. This weather always makes me lazy. The. Um, more humid kind of weather so let's do this one let's cut the bases for a couple let's use a coffee dyed envelope oh that would be cute those butterflies on the envelope let's do that And another one. Look at this beautiful blue roses. Oh wow. It's almost it's like a more a periwinkle, I would say. Okay. We have one, two, three here. Let's do more. Um oh and you know what? We can use book page. I got out some thicker book page and I used it to, to ink on but we'll just I am going to double them up just they are a thicker book page but I think they can be a little thicker and more sturdy what did I do with my glue stick hmm definitely had it here a second ago anyway we'll just use some art glitter glue for this then you can't find the glue stick oh it fell on the floor I found it but we'll just continue with this and I'm just spreading that glue underneath that's sandwiched in between the pages. Okay, so let's use, well, not that one. It has a tear and another coffee dyed envelope. And we'll just cut that off and envelope is a little wrinkly so it's not entirely straight anymore but it is we can work with that let's do one more um, let's do this beautiful kind of vanilla creamy color okay that should be enough so the next step would be to cut them down um, we need a flap. Okay, keep in mind you need a flap. And of course you can use the trimmer. It's just faster for me to just use my scissors. 
And these, you can keep these little strips for tabs. I think they'll be perfect for tabs. I'll keep them close by. And so I'm just cutting them a little longer because of the flap. And I wanted those butterflies on the bottom. So I want the, that could be the flap. And I'll just cut this off. And this one, oh, beautiful. Well, okay. So the next step would be to cut them smaller and maybe I'll do that butterfly on the top part and then we'll do the fold. So again this one, just keeping an eye for those two on my butterflies. This one doesn't really matter and this one. Oh, that was not straight at all. Let's use the writing as a guide. Okay. There. And this one, we can cut that there. Okay. The next step would be to either attach the tabs or do the folds. I'm going to do the folds. That one is fold. And I'm not bothered for them to line up because the tab's going to be there. But if you want to be more precise and have those two flaps lined up, then obviously that you can do that. Um, I didn't watch Gail's video. I know Tina said she did it a little bit different. Did the tab or the flap on the bottom a little different? I couldn't find it immediately, the video, so I didn't watch it, but um, I will definitely try to find it again. Take up a little bit more time to find it. Uh, my video is really late today. I just There's a lot of glue seeping out. That um, this one. And you're adding the tab obviously to keep that bottom flap flat. Uh, you can also use policy closures or a sorry silk and wrap it around. You want it to be more fancy. There's definitely ways to do that. Hmm. Do I will bother about the writing, but let's do that. Let's just put the writing upside and not upside down. So yeah, we've had like, I think about two days of nonstop rain. I do like those rainy days because that gives me an excuse to craft. Not that you can't clean your house when it rains, but I don't know. It just feels like <laughs> let's just find an excuse not to clean. Definitely couldn't work outside, but it is really good that we had all this rain. Otherwise it gets too dry and I'm just going to do gluing for both because I have the envelope here in front of me. Let, let's do the trimming after because I do think we'll need to trim those top ones. Anyway, it gets very dry and so we have a lot of fires in the summer if it's too dry. this year we won't have any of that. That would be nice. I think last year wasn't too bad fire-wise. Oops, wrong way, wrong way. It's 
because I shouldn't be putting the I put, should put the glue on here then you won't make that mistake okay there yeah day 74 Wow, let me just see. I made notes here in my notebook. We have day 74. Yes, it's the Gael Augustinelli faux envelope pockets or faux envelope fronts. Faux envelope, envelope fronts, that's what Gail named it. So we'll stick with that. And. Um, yeah, tomorrow we will be three quarters of the way. Wow, that is great. Absolutely great, three quarters of the way. Mm, I don't like this tab on here, but anyway, it is too late. The tab is staying. The art glitter glue is already dry. There's no way I'll be able to get that off. Oh, so, and the day 100 nominees for today is two Cheryl's, so it's Cheryl T and Cheryl W. I'll have your names in the description box again. And, um, yeah, good luck. Well, one of these days, not too long now, and then we'll be doing that draw as well. And um, uh, you don't. I forgot again to bring up all the ephemera. I should just make a short with all the ephemera I've made up until today. Maybe I'll try to remember to do that. But I am still doing some spring cleaning. Oh, and I'm doing that again. Spring cleaning and in between organizing my house and trying to do stuff in the garden. So. It's just never ending here, never ending. So that one wasn't fully straight, but we'll just add, if there's a little gap there, I think I'll just add some lace or something on top. We'll figure something out. Okay, is that all we did? Yes, that's it. So let's see, we've made, this was the prototype and we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I haven't trimmed them down. Let's just quickly see that one. Doesn't need any. And then remember when you're trimming down, don't cut your envelope. I've already done that with one. But you can always just put a little bit of glue in there and close the envelope up again. That's what I did. Now we, it's my daughter's birthday today, my youngest daughter. So that is fun. She is turning 19. That's always a fun age for them, or a, it's like when they turn 16 or 17, whenever they're, depending on which province you are in Canada, that's when you'll get your driver's license. Let's decorate this one just quickly to cover up my little problem here. Anyway, so, and then 19 for them is the next big thing, because then it... It is legal drinking age. <laughs> so I don't know why, but yeah, that is a big thing. Let's just add. I'm sorry, my husband decided to mow the lawn right outside the window, so I'm hoping you can't hear that. Um, I'm just going to add some lace on here, and I think this is such a beautiful paper that well, the lawnmower just died 
never a good sign. <laughs> I am going to add the lace up here to cover up the fact that it's not totally straight. Okay, the lawnmower's going again. And um, then what I am going to do is simply add some glossy accents on this beautiful blue butterfly but I'm not going to do it now because it needs glossy accents needs to sit overnight to dry and so I'm just going to do that I like to do that a lot of lot if I have beautiful printed papers it just brings out it would look like this is almost embossed and I think that's all this beautiful printed paper needs Honestly, it is so pretty. So this will just open. You'll have your pocket here. And then you can write on here or decorate it further. And then on the back of your envelope, you can obviously decorate this as well. And then you can add more things in there. So you'll have like a lot of writing space and space to put stuff in. So let's do another one. Maybe let's do this one. And I'm thinking, let's just add some ink on this just to, you know, just to dress it up a little bit, make it look more vintage. And then the back, I don't really need anything because it is coffee dyed but it just kind of has a very green tinge so let's just add some brown in there um, I might add some because this envelope when I dyed it it shrank shrank and it um, has some you know it didn't stay straight so as you can see this edge here isn't straight I can again just add some lace on this side that hangs over to cover that so nobody knows that my envelope shrunk and didn't do it straight when it shrunk it just shrunk all different directions I'm just going to add this little piece of lace and once I put the envelope in the if I'm just going to paper clip this onto a page I might keep this to write on as a writing space or decorate it more so I'm not going to decorate the back I'll do the front rather than the back and let's see what we have here I have this sitting here I just saw it there it's so pretty but then everything is blue again am I going to blue again today should I do something totally different than blue let's see if we can do something I'm just bringing in these things again that's sitting here oh that is a beautiful image wow um, there's a, some Tim Holtz people standing here but do I like them better on this maybe let's see what kind of scraps we have left over there is a beautiful piece of scrap that we can let's tear this down we'll use up our scraps are taking over um, let's do that aren't they so cute okay have another that label is too big I think I'm 
just trying to see what else is on here. Maybe that sticker. And I have this very pretty yellow stamp here. I have glue on my fingers, the fabric tag, the fabric tag always. Um, let me just get a wet baby wipe and get rid of that and then we can figure out because it's just totally distracting. <laughs> okay. I have most of it off. I'm thinking maybe um, I need to tear this as well just it's just very square okay let's see how it looks now do two stamps just to break up that and maybe I'm just going to just this one stamp just I want to just tone that orangey yellow down a little bit I like how it is a little brighter than the rest but not too bright that makes hopefully you guys know what I mean okay let's glue this down I still don't have my glue stick because it's still on the ground. I just have to make this work. It kind of fell halfway underneath one of the cabinets. I'll have to get in there and fish it out of underneath the out from underneath the cabinet. And I don't want to do that now. little on an angle this is a sticker and so if we want them there I want the sticker coming off this paper Okay. Another sticker. <laughs> These stickers sometimes can be very difficult to get off. Separate the backing from the front. But I've been lucky. This one is pretty good. I think that's the upside of the sticker. Right side up. I want it kind of to go off this. There's some glue or something sticking underneath. And let's just burnish this a little bit. Feels like it's not sticking down totally there. Good. And then these two will go. something like that just a piece of the cutout that's not 
didn't come out totally. I love these little Tim Holtz um, paper dolls. They're just the right size for so many like tags. It's tags and smaller embellishments. I'm very happy I did buy that. I was, wasn't was sure if I should buy the little ones, but I'm very happy that I did. I just need my get rid of some of the excess glue there. So there, that's that one. Shall we do one more? They are so cute. Let's see. Let's do this one. Mm, how about the, this? Oh, I like that up on there. Or is it too... I don't know if it blends in too much, but let's just add some bit of wax. This is, whoops, Prima again. Yes, Prima, and it is Bronze Age. I'm going to put it there, so if you want to look at it, just add some... It just adds a little bit of shimmer and shine, and it will just separate this from my background. Just make sure, especially w until the wax dries, not to get it all over everything. Okay. And I had some washi here. Yeah, excuse my arm. Think not that this washi really separates my background. Let me see what else I have washi wise here by my table. I don't know if that one will show up. This system holds that fabric tape. Mm -hmm, this might show up. And let's take these and see what happens. Okay, <clears throat> and I also still have this green lace. It's that seam, seam binding lace. I think the green might just, that will go with that, yes. Let's not use that one. Okay. And I was thinking with the washi, if we Just kind of stagger it here. Mm, where's the beginning of this one? The washi is sometimes worse than the stickers to find the beginning. Found it. <laughs> just thought we'll do this just to make it the background a little bit more interesting okay just brighten things up a little bit and that okay Let's see if we should add something else on here. Maybe if I can find, I was thinking a butterfly, but I don't think, I have cut out, I think it was a kit with 164 butterflies and I have used all, almost all of them. There's a couple left, like this purple one and this one keeps hanging around, but I have not used it, those two, but m everything else is almost done. I'm just thinking, should we just add this in here? Don't want it all over my washi. This is not the right thing. That one neither. 
I just want something to layer behind. Some blue. No. Like this postage stamp. Okay, no green. too small. Just bear with me for a minute while I'm looking for something. I just feel like I want something. Don't not entirely sure what behind that. that will work yeah let's do that okay that's a plan Yeah, tonight we're gonna go out for supper for my daughter's birthday because of course she wants to feel all grown up and order a drink at the restaurant so we'll do that with her and um, then we'll come back have cake she ordered a vanilla cake so we got that for her. Yes, and then my baby is 19 years old. Can you believe it? It's just, I don't know. How does that happen? Do we want something up here? I don't know, honestly, but then I don't like the green with it. Anyway, yeah, I definitely need to print butterflies again. I obviously went crazy with the butterflies. I think this one is too big and too purple, but maybe we don't need a butterfly. Uh, I do feel like I need something here. I don't know why. <laughs> Or maybe the brown stamp. I'm just going to put him there. Okay. We'll do that and let's add our stamp here. And I'm thinking here on the little label as well. Okay, that is it for today. I need to clean my hands and put my things away. Let's see what we did today. Let's just clean up two for two seconds. Put my glue things up. Okay. So we have, this was the prototype. These ones we did not decorate, but they are very a very nice idea, I have to say. Gail always comes up with great ideas. Okay, and so this one, I, same thing. I don't even think I will decorate this one too much because the paper is so pretty but I probably will just add some lace or something on there I think so we decorated this one this one we simply added lace and I'm going to put some glassy X accents on there and we decorated this one aren't they pretty so thank you for watching the two Cheryl's you are in the 100 day draw today I'll add your names in there and we made 
um, Gaila Gestinelli faux front envelopes and I will link Dina from Shabby Dabby Doodah's videos again because I'm following her 100 mask making sessions and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye!